Hi everyone, it's Jen Sheffer and this is a tutorial on the launch pad on your MacBook Air. This is for somebody brand new to a MacBook. You'll see that the launch pad is located here in your dock. It's the second app from the left right next to Finder. So if we open up the launch pad, you're going to see a whole host of applications, many of which you are not going to be using because you are going to be living in Google Chrome. Uh, you're used to docs, sheets, slides, classroom, forms, calendar, um, and outside of the Google suite of apps, you're using Nearpod, Pear Deck, Screencastify. Um, so a lot of these things you're not going to be using. But I do want to just go through a couple quick tips on the launch pad. The first thing I'd like to point out is that you'll notice here in the bottom center that there are two dots. The first one is white, the second one is grayed out. That means that there's a second page. One of the first things that you need to know is how to get to this second page. You're going to do a two finger swipe to the left on your trackpad. So when I do that two finger swipe, I'm going to come to the second page that's available to me in the launch pad. If I do a two finger swipe to the right, I go back to that first page. So on this page, you'll notice that we have the App Store. We're really not going to be using this. We were going to continue to access apps through uh, the Mosul Manager. Um, but we also notice here we have Safari, which we're not using. We're going to stick in Chrome. So again, that is going to be your default browser. We're going to stay away from Safari and we're going to continue to be in Chrome. Same with Mail. We're not going to be using the native Mail app on our MacBooks. We're going to be using Gmail. Uh, calendar, same thing. You're going to be using Google Calendar. Reminders, notes, I would say that your uh, Google Keep is an excellent cloud-based uh, tool that is similar to Reminders. Um, your Google Docs, you'll be using that versus a lot of these um, apps that you see here on the inside the launch pad. Uh, system Preferences is down here in the center. Uh, th this is something that you will be able to access. It's also right here in the launch pad, so, um, or in your dock, pardon me. So it's really not necessary for you to access it from the launch pad. Same with QuickTime. It's built in to the dock, and hopefully that is uh, an application that you'll become familiar with and start using. Um, I've been using it quite a bit since I got my Mac. Um, if I go over to the second page, you'll see the manager is here, the Mosul manager. Um, any apps that uh, you may want, you can continue the same process in terms of submitting a get help ticket, requesting an app, and if approved by uh, curriculum coordinators, it will be added to manager for you. Um, we also have Chrome right here. We have uh, Zoom, if uh, for professional development, uh, you uh, outside organizations, you may need Zoom or use Zoom for uh, various meetings, um, and you'll have that available to you. I actually used Zoom last night um, for a different meeting, and we also have Apple Classroom for those of you who are using Apple Classroom. So again, just wanted to point out that the majority of these applications, um, we have alternatives in uh, Google Drive. Uh, so for example, Keynote, we use Google Slides. Um, and Google Slides is extremely powerful and integrates with all of the other instructional tools that we're using. So really no need to be using Keynote. Um, so I just wanted to provide you with this quick tutorial. One other thing I'll point out is this mission control, if you're wondering what is that. If I tap on mission control, unlike the um, Chromebooks, Mac allows us to have multiple desktops. And I'll save this for a, a later tutorial, but you'll notice here you have the ability to work on different desktops. You can actually add a third desktop. So you can really start to be super productive and get things done really, really quickly once you become skilled and well-versed um, in using a Mac, and I, and I know you will. We're here to support you, um, and we're here to answer any questions that you have. But again, just so that you know what is in the launch pad, hopefully now you know, and you realize, you know what? You're right, I'm gonna stick with Google. Everything I use is available to me, just as it was on my Chromebook. The only difference is that your MacBook Air is incredibly uh, powerful, it's a lot more, it's a lot faster, the sound quality, the video quality, it's just overall outperforms the Chromebook on every level, 
and you will see that too once you begin using it. I hope this Launchpad tutorial was helpful. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me or any member of the EdTech team if you need additional support or have additional questions. Thank you so much for watching.